vitamin K. A key vitamins your body needs. Vitamin K is a nutrient that is necessary to maintain healthy bones. It serves as a coenzyme, or a necessary helper, for the production of proteins that aid in both blood clotting and bone metabolism. Vitamin K is actually a group of compounds. The most important of these compounds appears to be vitamin K1 and vitamin K2. Vitamin K1 is obtained from leafy greens and some other vegetables. Phylokinone, also known as vitamin K1, is found in plants. When people eat it, bacteria in the large intestine convert it to its storage form, vitamin K2. It is absorbed in the small intestine and stored in fatty tissue in the liver. The initial discovery was reported in a German scientific journal, where it was called coagulations vitamin, which is where the K comes from. Vitamin K2 is a group of compounds largely obtained from meats, cheeses, and eggs, and synthesized by bacteria. Without vitamin K, the body cannot produce prothrombin, a clotting factor that is necessary for blood clotting and bone metabolism. Vitamin K interferes with blood thinning medication like warfarin. Follow your doctor's dietary instructions if you are taking blood thinners. Why do people take vitamin K? Low levels of vitamin K can raise the risk of uncontrolled bleeding. While vitamin K deficiencies are rare in adults, they are very common in newborn infants. A single injection of vitamin K for newborns is standard. Vitamin K is also used to counteract an overdose of the blood thinner comade. While vitamin K deficiencies are uncommon, you may be at higher risk if you have a disease that affects absorption in the digestive tract, such as Crohn's disease or active celiac disease. Take drugs that interfere with vitamin K absorption. Are severely malnourished. Drink alcohol heavily. How much vitamin K should you take? The recommended adequate intake of vitamin K you take in, both from food and other sources is below. Most people get enough vitamin K from their diets. Take a look from the table how much vitamin K is needed for you. How do vitamins K1 and K2 work? Vitamin K activates proteins that play a role in blood clotting, calcium metabolism and heart health. One of its most important functions is to regulate calcium deposition. In other words, it promotes the calcification of bones and prevents the calcification of blood vessels and kidneys. Vitamin K benefits the body in various ways. Bone health. There appears to be a correlation between low intake of vitamin K and osteoporosis. Several studies have suggested that vitamin K supports the maintenance of strong bones, improves bone density and decreases the risk of fractures. However, research has not confirmed this. Cognitive health. Increased blood levels of vitamin K have been linked with improved episodic memory in older adults. In one study, healthy individuals over the age of 70 years with the highest blood levels of vitamin K1 had the highest verbal episodic memory performance. Heart Health Vitamin K may help keep blood pressure lower by preventing mineralization, where minerals build up in the arteries. This enables the heart to pump blood freely through the body. Mineralization naturally occurs with age, and it is a major risk factor for heart disease. Adequate intake of vitamin K has also been shown to lower the risk of stroke. Vitamin K Deficiency Vitamin K deficiency is rare in adults because many of the foods we eat contain adequate amounts of K1, and because the body makes K2 on its own. Plus. The body is good at recycling its existing supply of vitamin K however, certain conditions and some drugs can interfere with vitamin K absorption and creation, making it possible to become deficient. Vitamin K deficiency is much more common in infants. In infants, the condition is called VKDB, for vitamin K deficiency bleeding. People at risk are generally those who take anticoagulants take antibiotics have a condition where fat absorption is a problem the main symptom of vitamin K deficiency is excessive bleeding 
Keep in mind that bleeding may happen in areas other than at a cut or wound site. The bleeding may also be apparent if someone bruises easily, gets small blood clots underneath their nails, bleeds in mucous membranes that line areas inside the body, produces stool that looks dark black, almost like tar, and contains some blood. Vitamin K Deficiency Hemorrhagic Disease of the Newborn Vitamin K Deficiency Bleeding VKDB, is a bleeding problem that occurs in some newborns during the first few days of life. VKDB was previously called Hemorrhagic Disease of the Newborn. Babies are normally born with low levels of vitamin K, an essential factor in blood clotting. A deficiency in vitamin K is the main cause of VKDB. What are the symptoms of vitamin K deficiency bleeding? The following are the most common symptoms of VKDB. However, each baby may experience symptoms differently. Symptoms may include Blood in the baby's bowel movements Blood in the baby's urine Oozing around the umbilical cord The symptoms of VKDB may resemble other conditions or medical problems. Always consult your baby's doctor for a diagnosis. Vitamin K Deficiency Treatment The treatment for vitamin K is the drug phytonadion, which is vitamin K1. Most of the time doctors prescribe it as a normal medication. A doctor or nurse might also inject it under the skin, as opposed to into a vein or muscle. The dosage for adults ranges from 1 to 25 mg mg. If you find this information useful please like and comment. Share this video to your friends and family.